Hi, welcome back. <clears throat> I thought that I would do a, a little segment here on doing the um, making powder out of chalk. And this is how I got the chalk, and I took the front off of it, so I can't tell you what name this is. This is just a pastel art chalk. I paid 50 cents for each one of these. And as you can see, it's got a lot of colors in it. I've got like, here's was the purple, and uh, it's all ground up now. I have red, uh, white, black, Grinch green, this right here is the Grinch green, um, and light blue, which is this one. So I'm thinking I want to do the yellow. And so just take the yellow out, put it in the baggie. This is a freezer baggie because they're a little heavier than the um, than the storage baggies. So let's put the cover back on that so those don't get dirty. Let's put it up right so this is all. A little dent right here so if you try to do it the other way it doesn't work all right and then I'm just breaking it up some and it's chalk so anybody who's ever messed with chalk knows it breaks easy um, it's funny that to think that the generations today may not have as much experience with chalk as what uh, my generation did I am 66, almost 67, so I grew up with, in school, we didn't have whiteboards. We had chalkboards, and usually it was just white chalk. It was really cool when a teacher had some different colored chalk. So, but, as you can see, you just go like this. Use it just like you would a mortar and pastel, except for I don't have the, the thing. And I did put it in the baggie so that... There's not so much mess because this would be all over the place and it'd be very hard to clean up. And so you just go over it and over it. Try to get every little crumb out of there um, because any of the grit will actually show up in your resin. But this does color your... Can you hear the grit? <laughs> this does color your resin really nice. And uh, I'm surprised you can actually hear that grit. Where the grit is. But you want to do this, once you think you've got it done, do it a little bit more. Because it's, it's surprising how much, um, how much the grit kind of hides in there. But this is my husband's hammer. I know because it just says swim on it, which is uh, our last name. And this is the one he had when he was teaching and he had it in his, in his classroom. So anytime you needed a hammer, he had one. And uh, other teachers came looking for him to borrow the hammer because he's a guy and you know they expect guys to have such things as tools and uh, they weren't wrong anyways let's see how easy that is now what I'll do is I'll be putting in this right here this is what um, my diabetic test strips come in there's a hundred of them in each one of these. So every 50 days I get one of these. And since my husband also is a diabetic, uh, although he doesn't test his sugars twice a day like I do. Uh, so I get those there. Um, and they, I reuse them. I write the name on top so I know what color they are. And I keep them in this little, this has got the cover. Right now it has those jump rings in it that go to, dump those over there. 
but this cover here, this is just a takeout container. It was trying to remember which restaurant, but it had cake in it. Um, we were at a restaurant and the uh, table next to us had a birthday party and uh, they had this huge, huge cake. And there was probably, I don't know, um, a dozen people. So we were, when uh, we saw that she, the one girl was wearing the birthday crown and everything, we wished them happy birthday. And, and we sang happy birthday to them and everything, just, you know, being neighborly. You can do that here in the South. Uh, <laughs> and uh, just striking up a conversation with the, them and everything. Anyways, they, um, they asked the waiter if they could get some takeout containers, and they gave us all birthday cake to take home with us, and it was really sweet. It was good cake, too. But anyways, I kept the container, and it's just perfect, because these, these here will stand up in it and close, so they all stay, they all, all together. Now, I have to tell on myself. Okay. I think that's enough watching of this, I'm sure. But you can see how fine this powder is, some of it. But there is still a little bit of grit in there. i got to figure out a, a fine mesh to put these through. I do have one that I know I would work. But um, I use it for other things. Actually, I use it when I make yogurt. And most people will be grossed out when I tell them what exactly it is. It is the funnel thing that has the mesh in the bottom that doctors give patients when they have kidney stones to strain out their pee to catch any of the, the kidney stones that come through and the sand and whatever. Because they can test that and uh, tell what kind of um, kidney stones you have. Now, I've never had kidney stones, but my husband has. And uh, he had a bunch of these. Now, any of them that he used, we tossed. I mean, <laughs> this was never, ever used. So, I'm just trying to see if there's any of this foil that had from the uh, rhinestones that were in here. If any of this foil at all is loose, you want to get it out of there. The foil is fine to leave in as long as it's not loose at all because if it's loose then your glue will not stick or your resin will not stick or whatever you're putting in here won't stick and uh, you'll lose your your pretties. All right, there's a little bit right there. Good play. All right. Let me make sure I get that out of there. All right. And like I told you last video, this is just a, a cheap thing I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it was $1.25 for the two of these. And you can, well, that I'm going to have to cut off and smooth out. But you can use that for, for scraping things together. This here is a very sharp pick. And I'm using it to, to pick this here. So, yeah, those are all pretty good. So... I'm, ooh, I got a burr on that now. What do you expect for $1.25? All right, let me use this clean end of the toothpick and just make sure I've, there's no residue. Okay. Now I want to take the paint pen. Always shake them, just like a regular can of paint. You want to make sure you get it nice and stirred and I'm going around just touching up this here now they said that you can just kind of go over it if it looks a little too matte see I'm picking up some of it so yeah I don't like it pooled on there and uh, sometimes when people fix jewelry they just put it on way too thick and it looks terrible. It looks like, you know, you can tell it's a very amateur job. So if you do use the paint pad, 
just take a, a Q-tip or something if it's a large area like that. And see, so you can just remove some of it. Now let's see on this here how much better this might look with some... Oh yeah. Like I said, uh, when, when I got this, it had the zebra. And it was, um, I don't know if it was real zebra, it was very coarse hair like a horse. And I'm assuming a zebra has a coarse hair just like a horse. Of course it could have been a horse, I don't know. Uh, let's just kind of take some of that off so it doesn't look quite so painted on. And it dries very, very fast. Anyways, uh, there was a lot of uh, verdigris on around it and actually some under it but uh, I had to get that that zebra skin out of there and so I uh, poured some boiling water I put it in this dish here poured some boiling water on it and that zebra pelt zebra skin it curled up immediately and uh, so it came out super easy. I wish I had videoed it simply because it was so easy and it was, uh, it was kind of cool. All right, let's tone that down a little bit. Right. And the black swirls stayed. They didn't get paint filled. All right, let me get this part up here. Normally I just leave the metal the way it was, but they were it was so coppery. It was so tarnished. And it, um actually after I did the the um vinegar on it, there was over here had white looking stuff. I'm gonna let this dry before I do the other side. But I do like that a whole lot better. While that's drying, we need to figure out what we want to put in it. All right. These are the ones that fit it. We could do all pink. And that would look cute. So pink is an option. Um, we two could do the greens. There's yellow. Yellow would look pretty in there. Um... I always like this color here. This here. That's always pretty. That goes really good with silver. What do you think? You think we should do it all in that? I just don't think that they should be multicolored. I, I, I'm not feeling that. So let's see how many of these um, teal colored. I think these are lighter than that. Let's see. Yeah, those are lighter. Which would be pretty too. Um, I just have to be careful not to not to uh, mix the two. Alright. What's is that one? Yep, that's one. And I believe I need twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. <clears throat> I do need 12 of whatever. That one's a pink one. Um, it's red. Oop, there's one of those. Now I need to go out in my craft room and uh, find the wax pen that came with, uh, I don't know what they're called. Um, You've seen those pictures that have, they're, they're like little, they're about this size, little things, and you, you take it and you stick it onto it, and it's got a real sticky back, uh, background and everything. I got one of those for Christmas, and it was a nativity scene. It was really pretty, and, uh, but anyways, you, you have some leftover stones, things, or rhinestones, or whatever these, I'm not sure I don't think they're a rhinestone. But anyways, had some leftover those. Um, but 
but it came with a, a wax pen for picking up the, the rhinestones or I'm going to call them rhinestones cause I don't know what they're called. And, uh, it's like diamond something, diamond art. I don't know what it's called. Kathy could tell me. Kathy does a lot of it. Kathy's my older sister. I'm sure she loves the fact that I, I point out that she's the oldest sister. <laughs> uh, maybe she's not watching. If she's not, then shame on her. But, uh, I should just warn them that I'm apt to say anything about them. It's all fair game. I, I feel like a, a preacher. Oh, that's green. Uh, anything that happens in a pastor's life is fair game in the pulpit. You might hear a sermon about it. Or use, be used as an example or something. So, always live a good life. All right, how many I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm almost thinking I like that darker green. Oops. Nope, that's green, green. Um, huh. That would be terrible if I, I'm just one short on that. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm one short on that one, too. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I have a full set of those. And... I have a full set of those. Well, let's see which one we like better. Of course, I want your opinion, but you won't have time because we are going to put that one there. Let's put that one in it. Actually, let's put both in there and see. Oops, that's not that's not a hole. That's a, a raised bit. And this is why I need the, the wax thing. Hmm. These are quieter. Those are bolder. Hmm. Now let's get more in so we can can really make a, a judgment here. This is the process that most crafters go through. They go, I don't know which I like. And so we just kind of try both. Sometimes it's like four or five things we try. And, uh, huh. I'm almost liking the, light, the lighter color. It would help if I knew what I was going to put in the center. Hmm. I think I think the lighter color simply because it doesn't scream look at me it's more ain't I beautiful <laughs> so let me take these out and we will be doing the lighter color so pull those out put them back in our little container here I get these containers from Walmart they are uh, you can get them in two ways you can get them where they they screw onto each other and stack up or you can get them in a plastic box that's just the right height for these I think there's a dozen in the plastic box and I want to say six step stackables in the stackable things so but when you have little things like this, you need small containers, and it really is helpful if it, you can see through it. So, yes, I did buy these, and it was worth it for me. All right. Where is my foil? All right, there's foil. Because we're going to be using the E6000 glue. And we will be using the expensive applicator. Put a 
nice glob of glue right there. And again, I use the E6000 that's readily, readily available in almost every place. I mean, you can go to craft stores, you can get it. You can get it at uh, hardware stores. You can get it at Walmart. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. All right. Let's start with three. All right. Let's just put a dot of glue, just enough to grab that. Ah, you're not enough to grab it. All right, we're going to do fingers, which means I'm probably going to get him <coughs> glue on my fingers, but yay. No, don't, 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 don't glue the front. All right. Then you have to remember how many of these you actually did. I did not want to stick, so the, it must be I need more glue. All right. Alrighty, ready, ready, ready. So, I did uh, go get some lunch and download my videos that I did this morning. I got some egg salad sandwich on, on keto bread. I do use Arnold's keto bread because I find it better than the others. But I messed up. I like the keto seeded Arnold's bread. It's probably the best bread that I have found. But this was, this wasn't the seeded and it's not as good. So anyways, if your, your fillings are got enough flavor, it doesn't matter so much. A lot of times your keto bread tastes like eating cardboard. But I am so thrilled to be able to have a sandwich again. Hmm. I went probably a year and a half without eating any sandwiches because being a diabetic, um, one thing I found out is I am insulin resistant. Not only am I diabetic, but my body does not does not um, metabolize carbs the way we were designed to. Uh, so my body stores them, and the way you can tell if you're insulin resistant, uh, most of your fat is right in your belly. Uh, I was talking to my endocrinologist, and I was saying. Yeah, I think I'm insulin resistant and he was I was sitting on his chair thing on his whatever you call it, exam table and we were talking and he goes you don't have a butt do you <laughs> I'm going um, no not really he said uh, he said yeah he said you should stay away from carbs definitely insulin resistant and after that, I started losing weight because uh, he was right. Oh, look at that. Do you like that? I like that. Let's push them all down in, make sure they're well seated. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now I got to put something in here. And I'm going to leave this. this. This to me is just fine. I gotta figure out what color I want to put that in there. Um, hmm. I could just do a white. That would actually be pretty, wouldn't it? Or a, a, just maybe pearlize something and put in there. I'll have to think about that, but I gotta let these dry, so I can't do any more on that today. So let me set that over there. I am so glad that I got rid of that zebra skin. It was ugly, ugly, ugly. If uh, you don't believe me, look back at my last video. It is in there. Okay, so I'm thinking, all right, I did take the paint pen and hit these um, jump rings that were so coppery with the paint pen. So they're, they're not so brassy 
I like brass, but it just, with the silver, you don't want, not that silver, with this, <laughs> this silver, you don't want um, a lot of brass coloring. All right, let's, I, I'm thinking I want to do some purple. And so this has, open it the right way, this has a pretty purple in it. I do have a pretty purple here. So I got to decide, do I want to use this purple or do I want to use this purple? I mean, they're very different. Um, I want to show you how to do that. So I'll probably use this purple and maybe this blue because I think that blue would make a really pretty, really pretty flower. I don't know which of those two flowers I'll use, but I maybe use both of them. I don't know. But I think that blue would look pretty there. So let's start with with the purple. Purple, purple, purple. Make sure I'm in the field of vision here. Look up. Oh, yeah. Okay. And just do a nice dot of Let's Resin UV. Remember with the UV, we need to cure it. So let's, let's do, I'm gonna do, uh, let's not go crazy with this. Let's start light and add afterwards. And, uh, cause you can always add more. I mean, you can always add more resin and thin it down, but All right, let's pearlize it. Uh, and I don't want to get that purple thing in there, so let's use this here. And that's probably too much of that. All right. Okay. I think on the Gridge Green earrings here, I think we didn't use enough of the pearlization, and I know we used way too much of the the chalks. So let's do the opposite of that this time. Let's use more of the pearl and less of the color. All right. All right, that's coming out a nice color, and I can see the pearl pearlization in it um, and I can use the paintbrush again because this is not glitter all right I want to do this one here I just want a, a little a little thing around the edge here Oops. and I don't want it too heavy I want that that uh scroll work or whatever to show through. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. If I ever sneeze, don't don't bother with the eye blush shoes until after I'm done. I'm a multiple sneezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, the most sneezing I ever did, I think, was probably 21 sneezes at one time. And the bad part is I was driving. So you'd sneeze, peek at the road, sneeze, peek at the road, sneak, sneeze, peek at the road. So, yeah. It's probably more dangerous, but hey. All right, I'm going to need a Q-tip because I got a little over on that hair. And you just take the Q-tip. Here, you know what I need to do? I need to zoom in. It's funny. I was uh, looking back at uh, at what I had done this morning, and I was freaking out. I'm going, oh my gosh, it looks like it's double zoomed or something. You could, I was like. Here's the field of vision, and you could see this much. I'm like, that's terrible. Until I realized 
my my phone was zoomed it wasn't just the yeah so I unzoomed it and I'm going oh thank goodness I don't have to redo all that video okay yeah I don't know how I like that it's uh I think I may put another color on the other part too I mean it's that purple's good it just doesn't work well I think with that um Hmm, should I do this flower in purple or this one? I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah. And I do need to use the UV resin, the uh, UV light and uh, cure those. I was, uh, Yesterday I was in Joanne Fabrics and uh, I saw a UV light there, a flashlight one. I'm going, oh, that would be really nice to have. I could just zzz, real quick and I uh, wouldn't have to set up the lamp. And it was like just a little tiny flashlight like this. Like, yeah, I, I realize it's UV and yeah, but it was like $11. I'm going, what? So. My, uh, my nail one didn't cost that much. All right. Okay. I will put something in the center of it. Probably something, um, glittery. Something that will, a little bolder. And, uh, I may put another layer on or I might dome it or I probably should do the other side too. But anyways. Let's do some purple on this, since we have purple mixed up. All right. Let's put this here purple. Purple, purple. I have to stop this video and go wipe my nose. It feels like it wants to run. I can't have a runny nose. Let's go into that one. Can't see. I know you can't see it because I can't see it. Uh, the shadows. The shadow nose. Alright. And let's go ahead and put that dot there since it's only a dot and probably won't be seeing much. All right. Well, hmm. that's turning out really pretty, don't you think? I need to do some coloring inside here and I need to do these open spaces and then we have to figure out what we're going to do with that i really do think i'm i need to take it off simply because it doesn't fill fill up that bezel area um i do need to clean my brush here before it gets any light on it or anything so doo -doo -doo. Remember, you just keep doing it until nothing colors up, comes off in it. All right. Uh, you can't use it um, any cleaner with it. Uh, alcohol may take a little bit off, but the best way to do it is just to dry, dry wipe it like that. All right. Let me clean that off so I can continue to use that stick. I am going to throw that away because we don't want that messing up other things. All right, let's hit this with the UV, UV light. Um, uh, da, 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 why we're doing that? What did I want to talk about? Um, makeup brush. And okay, this is not going to be that long of a, a video because there's less that I want to talk about. All right, while that's doing, Let's get some of this P 
periwinkle and I think I'm gonna eat, well I'll use this one but I need to move the butter thing around uh, so that here let's go this way let's go this way hopefully you can see that can you see that no all right let's pull that even further that way all right and we're just going to scrape it like this right here just like that and that's probably going to be all the, the mica powder we need All right, so let's put that over there. Let's do some UV resin in it. Very slow to rip. And let's stir, stir, stir. Oops. All right. Well, that is a pretty color, isn't it? Yeah. I get this cleaned off right here so I don't touch that. All right. Let's set you over there. You guys need more time under the light, but right now you're doing good. Um, again, since this is not um, any glitter in it, I can use the the pen. All right, the pen. The okay. Uh, this is a paintbrush. might need more than one layer because I'm painting on fairly thin oh, that was funny all right all right you know what let me see if this will hold it if that hole oh perfect perfect look at that let's use tools and if we don't have a tool let's invent a tool all right now as i'm holding it the the blue resin is running down trying to pull because this is not a um, a flat surface, so I keep brushing it back up on top here. All right, and uh, let's give it some UV loving, just enough to set it. Shouldn't take too long to to set it so that. I can just put another layer on and then we can just put it under the lamp for you know three to five minutes at the end after I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch that um, but yeah we'll uh, we'll do that uh, off camera so how you doing all right, let's let's put another layer on here. I hope I didn't fry that. I didn't. Good. Um, let's just kind of do the edges. If I just do the edges, I think that it will hold up a little bit long enough for me to. Whoops. Oh, that was kind of heavy-handed. All right, let's UV it again. Whoops, I don't want to UV my my butter wrapper because it will, of course, cure. And my paintbrush is sitting right there, and I definitely don't want it cured on that paintbrush because I am very happy with how the paintbrush works um, with the resin, with the UV resin. You know, I have to clarify which resin we're using because there there are more than one type. I only use the UV and the two-part 
resin. Um, <clears throat> so, but they both have their uses. Okay. What do you think, huh? I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. And that was made with makeup. And this one here, that was made with chalk. And and the uh, the powder there, the uh, pearlization powder. Now I think I'm going to put blue centers in uh, in these clear ones, like this right here. So, yeah, that's not a clear one. This one's a clear one. I must put it in the wrong one. And hmm, it gives it a little color there. Should I do more of those? Do you think the pink would look good with the blue in the center? Hmm, I don't know. We'll think about it. <sighs> Anyways, I had blue there. All right, let's clean the brush. Clean, clean, clean. Always clean your brush. Uh, if, if you don't do anything else, clean the brush. Hey, there are. Be prepared to throw that one away and go buy a new one. They're not expensive. They, you can get these at uh, the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Um, Walmart, uh, there are a lot of places you can get inexpensive brushes at. Okay. Now I am going to throw away this lovely butter paper. Save those, save that. Um, was there anything else I wanted to talk about today? We did the, oh, the sun catcher. We did not work on the sun catcher. That was something I had promised you that we would do. And that is, ah, pressing down. All right, that right there, uh, do I have the tape out here? This may be a, a project for later because I don't see my tape. Okay, and I'm not gonna go get it. I will, off camera, take um, just some packing tape they do make tape specifically for um, resin. It's kind of expensive and it works exactly the same way as packing tape. The only difference is the part that comes for resin is blue. Uh, that to me is not a, a, uh, a game changer. So I will put the resin on here and uh, Maybe figure out what colors I want to do, but we did do this today, and we we need to figure out what resin we want to put in there. But I find that so much prettier than it was with that zebra and uh, the the tarnishness, the tarnishness. Yeah, this brassy look. Although I like the brassy look, I don't think it went with this. So. And if we wanted to, we could actually put a clear resin on that, just if you wanted to make it shinier. So, lots of stuff you can do. You can do anything you want. It's your world. Embrace it. So, this is Bethany with New Life Jewelry, and I'm wishing you a good day. Uh, my husband will be home soon, and we need to uh, run up to the, the base. So, we need to do some shopping and pick up our meds and stuff. So I probably won't be making another video today, which I love these videos. I love the time I spend with you. Uh, but anyways, I hope you liked my video. If you do, hit the like button. Uh, comment, please comment. I want to hear what you think about what I'm doing. I want to hear if you like the colors I choose or if you if you like the idea of using chalks. Or if you thought I, I should have gone with all the different colors on that um, that pendant or whatever. Just talk to me. I mean, I'm here talking to you. Talking and talking and talking. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, I have lots of words. So. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.